Hello viewers, this is Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play The Clone Wars. George Lucas must have had something to do with this. <laughs> no, they're just there to freak you out. They didn't even do one of Megas, so whatever. The original uh, Japanese version said something like, that's your destiny or whatever. Not very nice at all. I thought it was the black omen, not the dark omen. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well let's fight. This is a very interesting battle. Which also glitches the sound on my emulator a little bit for some godforsaken reason. Oh well. Now, uh, yeah, she's going to use Halation so long as three, all three characters are above 1 HP. So what you want to do... Counter with Frog Squash, Dino Tail, and follow it up with a Mega Elixir so that you get damage boost from having 1 HP. Now, if one character is at 1 HP, she'll use a weak attack and kill off that character. Otherwise, she'll always use Halation. Now, we want to wait for it, and Frog Squash, and Mega Elixir. Don't use another Dino Tail because uh, you'll kill her and you'll have to enter the next battle with 1 HP. And that's probably not a good idea. No, I'm not going to use Triple Kick right away. I'm going to wait for Magus to get up to a turn again. And wait for it. Okay, there we go. And, oh, did I have Frog do it? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. A Dark Matter and a, dino and a Triple Kick will do it. I was going to have Magus do it and then do Leap Slash and... Triple kick, but this works just as well. If you didn't give uh, Frog the power tabs, that this would be the way to finish the battle anyway. I think he can charm a Mega Elixir from her, but I don't really care. Um, when two physical objects collide, that's not what happens, Zeal. You know what? It's Chrono Trigger. Let's just take it at its word. Alright, this is an interesting battle, but perhaps the battle where Frog is most useful. Now let's use Dark Matter. And as you can see, a magic attack ups his attack power, and he'll release it much like um, Mother Brain releases attack, but Mother Brain just charged up on its own. But the Master Moon will actually keep healing Frog, and I'm pretty sure it actually lessens the energy he gets. So that's pretty nice. It's not perfect, but, you know, it does work, so. And if you do a physical based attack, it will up his physical defense, so. Yeah. But again, you can, <clears throat> you can lessen it by attacking with the maximum, so. That's pretty nice there, actually. get one more Dark Matter in here. Plus the fact that it heals uh, Frog is just very useful. He's almost finished. I don't know what the hell is going on with my sound here. I've lessened it, but eh, whatever. This is why I hate emulation, but... Yeah, that doesn't actually mean he's standing still. That just means he's not going to do his one attack. He's not going to absorb energy, I mean. Just use a Mega Elixir. We got plenty of them. That might do it. No, not quite. Don't worry about that. That's a weak attack. I think it's probably fire-based, but I don't really care. Nothing of interest to steal yet. Yeah, Frog is just very useful with the Master Moon here. Got him. Nothing too hard about that at all. I love the way they animate Vegas' cape. Well, that's interesting.
And we have to fight Zeal again. Sure. Why not? Um, you kind of already lost. Uh-oh! It's that music again! If you didn't have Magus, you wouldn't get this dialogue. And you wouldn't get this music. You'd get, um, just the regular second boss theme. Not the main boss theme, but the, like, tough boss battle theme. Wow, they actually came about as close to saying you will die as possible. You will forfeit your lives! Okay, first things first. Steal from the hands. And let's get ready to use an elixir on Isla. And we get a prism dress. And we want to use leap slash on the head. The hands counter. Um, Zeal does have Hellation. If she uses it, I will use Frog Squash and Dino Tail. Simply because at that point I really don't care about her MP Buster counter attack. But the, I think it's that hand. And the Life Shaver one. Well, my HP is already going to be at one anyway, so why do I care? But I'm going to leave Magus on standby at all times. Just in case. Except for one, I need to do that. Oh, I shouldn't have done... No, yeah, I need the MP to steal again. That's right. Because Isla missed. Oh, well. Zeal really isn't that hard, though, unfortunately. I mean, she's harder than most bosses, of course, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Nothing to steal from the head. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a Mega Elixir. And I like to always have one character on standby, just in case. You get a prison helm from that. I don't really care, but I can replace a Vigil Hat with that. Okay, let's use... Now, let's just wait for... Magus' turn here. Okay, close enough. And Elixir. Why does Ayla have MP? Did MP Buster miss? Huh. Okay. Now the only thing Magus can really do here is Dark Bomb, and I just wouldn't bother. Yeah, she has a lot of elemental attacks, but I'm not going to bother trying to equip... Uh, Males for that, and why bother? If Frog takes any more damage, I'll, I'll uh, use another Mega Elixir. Megas doesn't have much in the way of healing, but oh well. Fortunately, Hellation is relatively rare this time. But it, it's also not in a pattern, so it's you can't really predict it. So I guess it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I should probably use a Mega Elixir, but... You don't want to just uh, repeatedly use a Mega Elixir because... You want to be careful? Yeah, because of that. And I'm not going to risk... Uh, casting Dino Tail now. Because she could... Well kill me before I get a chance to use it, so. Not gonna... I don't care about Magus MP at all. Almost got her. I think she has 13,000 HP. Something like that. Enough. Nothing we can't handle, though.
One more leaf slash. Okay. One more triple kick. Got her. Okay, well that's about all the time I really have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. And I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys.